So what we've got here is another rest that I looked into, wondering whether it's real or not. Is it involving someone I've seen before? Well, yes it is. But first of all, let's have a look. So what I'd like you to do is just remember his hat, okay? Because as soon as I've seen his hat, I knew I'd seen him before. Okay, so some more photos. So he's got a badge there. Happy Brexit Day. You see that? Um, didn't notice that until I was able to zoom in. But yeah, so there's what another photo. Yeah, make a note of his mouth, right? And the hat. Okay. So that's a good picture of the hat because it shows you Trump 2020. Now, this is in England, okay? And I always found it very fascinating, um, people who dedicated themselves to showing their support for Trump by, you know, wearing the clothes. I mean, ba Bias Damey, a.k.a. Base Damey, would be a prime example of that. Uh, so, yeah, he's rocking the Trump 2020 hat. This was not long ago, by the way, a couple of months. So that's one event where I've seen him. Um, and here's another one. As you can, now it's on Sky News, okay, and unfortunately they only do it in 7, uh, they don't go up to 1080p, uh, so it's not very good quality, but you can see it's, it's the same hat, and you can see it's the same mouth, um, but there's one of him with the hat, and it's, the reason I show you this one is because he is right next, and again you can't see it very well, but he is right next to this fellow here. You'll see now, one second. This guy here, so the same event, and it's this massive tall guy, yeah? His name is Resistance GB. Uh, and he's always in these events <clears throat> where it looks very staged and fake, and where there's many people who you see over and over again. And as you can see, I took this one so you could see them both in the shot. Okay, so you got him there with his cap, yeah? And then him there, Resistance GB. Now, I'll tell you who Resistance GB is now. That's him there. Okay, that's him there for you didn't know. Supposedly getting arrested at Speaker's Corner. And as you can see from his face, it just looks like a film. It's just so over the top. And here's another bit of information you should know. He's actually a conservative politician. And he got suspended over racist remarks. Okay? So he is actually a conservative politician. Here's another picture of him. So-called getting arrested. Um, and it's just comical. Okay? So he's in the same event as that guy with the Trump hat, okay? Who we've already seen here. Yeah? So make a note of the hat and make a note of the mouth, okay? Because I'm going to show you where I first saw this guy. And I made a mental note of it because he was standing by some people I've already exposed months ago. So here is where I first saw that guy. So remember the mouth? And remember the hat. So that's the same guy. The only difference is here it's in the summer. The one I just showed you is in the winter. Here he's got his head shaved so you can barely, you know, see any hair. Uh, it makes him look younger. But it's the same cap. It's the same guy. It's the same mouth. It's the same teeth. And here he is stood next to Tatman. If you don't know who Tatman is, I've done many, many videos about him. Someone you should know about. And here's red uh, Nike guy. Again, someone you should know about from my channel. This guy, this guy with the red Nike top um, was seen basically just standing right by police, right by police, beckoning someone over. Um, you know, like he's basically behind police enemy lines and he's, you know, beckoning someone over. So back to this guy, same hat, same mouth, yeah? So that's him, and that is in the Daily Mail, and that was right at the start on the 19th, on the 19th of September, okay? So all that time, they had this guy 
in your head, basically, uh, wearing the England shirt, wearing the Trump 2020. So it's just so conflicted. He's got, you know, England and then America. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I always questioned it, and now you see why. Because the people who do it <laughs> seem to be actors. Here's one of them, and so is Base Damey. Yeah? So, like I said, here's, here he is in the Daily Mail right at the start of all this. And then recently, here he is getting arrested. And because you've seen him right at the start wearing that hat, you think, yeah, yeah, he's one of us. And then the people who aren't part of the movement <clears throat> see him and think, oh, yeah, he's that guy who was stood next to the guy with no top on, like this, called Tatman. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's psychological. It works both ways. For the anti-lockdown movement, people think that he's part of us. So when he does get arrested, we feel sympathy towards him and we feel like we've lost one of our own. And to those who are not part of the movement, they see him standing next to this guy, Tatman, and straight away they discredit us because of that. Okay? So he's at the same event with this guy, Resistance GB, who is always getting either fake arrested or filming fake arrests himself. Here you can see he's actually a bloody conservative politician, so he's not a freedom fighter, okay? At all. So, I think, bear with me, I've got one photo where I lined them up, and let's just have a look at that. So I've gone to the effort there to put them side by side so you can see. You can see it's exactly the same hat. Um, you can see it's the same guy, the same eyes, the same nostrils, the same nose, the same mouth, the same teeth, the same colour hair. The only difference is, is on the one on the right he's got shaved shaved hair because it's summer. On the other one it's winter so you know there's, there's more hair. But literally it's the same guy as far as I'm concerned. OK, so it's the same guy being used all the way back from September to just a couple of months ago. And he's there with other dodgy people such as this guy here, the conservative politician who pretends to be a freedom fighter. OK, so there's the freedom fighter, the politician. Look at him, you know, challenging all the police. So there you go, another, what looks like another actor, okay, used on three different events, all looking dodgy, all looking like they're just for show, and, you know, he's, he's even wearing the same hat, just to make it easier for us, all right? So this is what we do here on the channel, we look through events, we find things that look a bit fake and staged, then we find um, who's behind them and have they been in other events. As you can see here, he's been in three events, this guy. All right. So we'll be back for more. I wanted to keep this under 10 minutes and I have done. So you have a great evening. I'll be back with more videos um, in about an hour or so. I've got so many to uh, release. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone. Peace for now.